What's up, everybody? Richard and Adam, True Shot, back today for another reaction video. And today we are checking out the highly anticipated next Darko US track, Donna. Now, we do have a little bit of background information on this. I know this is about Josh Miller, the the guy who pretty much writes all the music for, for Darko. Uh, his grandmother, who had passed away. Um, so I am ex obviously expecting something emotional. I've seen some clips here and there. Um, I just think it's really cool uh, for a band that's traditionally just, they're not only like a heavy band, but they're like heavy. heavy. I mean, like they're not like a, you know, a verse chorus type of, I mean, they, these guys are heavy. heavy. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that this is 448. So, you know, it's going to be, I think I'm, I'm ready for some ambient nature. Um, but I'm really, I'm really looking forward to the story that they tell. And how Tom Barber, uh, who's traditionally known as, you know, like this big, you know, just monster metal vocalist, uh, how he adapts to it. So let's get started. And uh, I'm not going to cry again like I did on Constance. So don't, uh, I'm not going to cry. I'm not, it's not happening. Maybe if you, get, if you get me to cry, I, I'm going to be mad, Josh and Tom. So. Old uh, Polaroid footage. You're going to make me. <laughs> also, the two gentlemen in the video are actually Josh's grandpa and dad. So that's his grandpa right there. Try to see that good enough. 
chills when that comes in. Forty-three, man. Nineteen forty-three. She was born. Wow. Well, all right. So that was Darko U.S. Donna. I don't know about you, man, but that shit gave me the chills. Yeah. Yeah. What did you? Uh, outside of the chills, what? Did, any other thoughts? Or I don't really know what to say. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, is it getting you? Oh man, I don't even know what to say. Um. Yeah, I don't know, man. Those those ambient clean chords, man, are just brutal. You know, they they make you think. They, they really they, they really set the tone. They really set the mood. Um, listen, man, I I, it, I gotta I'll say this though. It it was sad. I, you know, like obviously some of the imagery, especially with his grandpa, was sad. But I gotta be honest, I really. Viewed that as a as a really nice, touching tribute to his grandma. Oh, absolutely. Um, I just, I really like the old Polaroid camera footage. Um, it's actually him. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. yeah. I, I saw him on, on Instagram. He had, he had said that. And I just think, I think that's so cool because, you know, for one, a lot of people lose relatives you know they, they really don't have that stuff so it's really cool that that stuff was held on to for that long but it also shows the personality of his grandma and just how much um you know she really did mean to him and his grandpa and his dad and just everybody i mean it really showed you know just who she was as a person and just uh i don't know she just she seemed like a very fun Fun loving lady and uh man. I I just I thought it was a beautiful tribute to her and uh yeah, I mean I I, I, I give his grandpa and his dad a lot of credit for doing that video because it's part of healing possibly for him, you know? Yeah, I, I don't know. I just I just um, celebrating life. Yeah, I mean I, I just it's it's one of those things that it's almost like just the message and the visuals just almost they, they supersede the song. I mean, they really do. I mean, yeah, but if you watch the video, right? And then, you know, you go back and listen to the song, you still have that. Those the imagery, yeah. right? Yeah, I just think in the context of how, you know, we're listening to it. To me, it's like, you know, the the song kind of takes a little bit of a backseat for me just because I'm just invested in the message and the mood that they're trying to convey. And I just, I, I, you probably see to my reaction, just to, you know, a lot of the, the video camera footage and stuff like that. I'm just smiling. Cause it's just like, I just think it's, yeah, it's really cool to, you know, showcase who she was as a person in that way. Um, and those are just, those are really great memories. Cause like I said, a lot of people don't have, you know, those kind of memories to look back on and, uh, I think it's really the eight cool. millimeters. Yeah, I think it's the really old stuff. Yeah, I I think it's really cool of Josh and his family to share that with all of us. Um, but yeah, cool man. Anything else you want to nah, add? Nah, man, I'm good. You good? <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right, guys. Social media. It's all around. It's all around. Come get back at us. Link Peace. Below. Peace.